which is I do a ton of volume and then I look at the top 10% of that volume and I see what does this have that's different than this other 90. And then when I see, I, ideally, if I properly identify what the difference is between that 10 and 90, then I cut out the stuff that's in the 90 and do 10 times more of the 10. And then I do it again. And that has fundamentally been how I've approached everything. If I want to look at like, how do I improve a sales script? I listen to all the, the, the sales calls. I look at the ones that we were like, these, these calls are pristine. They're awesome calls. Like look at the looping, all the stuff that's involved. And we're like, okay, what was different about these calls versus the others? Okay. We didn't talk about this thing. We didn't ask this question, but we did add this question. And so then the script gets pruned and it gets cleaner and it gets tighter. And so when I looked at the content that was doing better, it was content where I didn't use big words where I didn't talk about complex topics, but, or rather I talked about complex topics in a simple way. And so I was like, oh, so one of the big, um, one of my first early videos that hit was, um, <laughs> which now has come to haunt me, uh, <laughs> how to get your wife to go where you want to go to dinner, which is, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be opposed to going to Cheesecake Factory, would you? Uh, which now everyone asks me if I'm opposed to doing podcasts, I'm opposed to doing speaking yeah. events, whatever. Uh, but the thing is, is that it was a sales technique, but it was applied in a way that could be more accessible to other people. And I see that as kind of like the best of both is if you can, like, I'm not against getting a viral video as long as it's about business. 